What's up you guys? Welcome back to a new vlog. We are continuing our townhouse decor in this video. We've been going hard trying to find furniture and get everything ready. I feel like this is the quickest that we've ever <laughs> decorated, um, but I think it's because the baby's coming. We just want to make sure that everything is like ready and cozy because we're probably not going to be focusing on it a ton um, once he is here. So um, I just wanted to start this video with a Vici discount code for you guys because I did a try on on my Instagram yesterday and I'm going to show you a couple of the looks today. But for those of you who only follow on YouTube, wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it because their stuff is so cute. It's Julia Save 20 for 20% 20 off um, and they have some really cute new arrivals. And then um, after that, I'm going to show you baby clothes haul because I have been finally ordering a ton of clothes um i only had ordered a couple of things in the beginning but i'm really starting to gear up because i need like all the things and time is a ticking so anyways first little piece is so cute i love it so much it's like a linen jumpsuit and it's this really cute cutout style that you guys know i love i think this works so well if you're pregnant and it's really cute if you're not pregnant because it's just very forgiving in this area um so i love this style really pretty brown color and really flattering like all up here so comfortable on the bump flowy perfect for summer um i just think it's like the cutest little piece ever okay and then next this is probably my other favorite thing from their drop yesterday is this really cute knit set i feel like everything right now for me has to be like stretchy and comfy i could also wear this postpartum but um it's sort of like this yeah kind of like a knit sweater material but like vintagey and almost looks like like denim in a way or something i don't really know how to explain it but it's so pretty i did size medium and it fits perfectly i have plenty of room um and you could rewear these as separates um the shorts by itself also look, looks cute with the bump out if you want to go that vibe but also plenty of room to wear it over the bump so all their stuff is really bump friendly it's not maternity but i have found their site like the easiest to shop on pregnant and everything is so cute and just like i don't know it looks so cute when you're pregnant um and not they already have the cutest stuff you guys know vg is like such a vibe um just wanted to remind you guys of my code so you can go shop their new arrivals they have so much cute stuff or you could buy some girlfriends that are pregnant um maybe a couple of their dresses or something they're just really cute baby showers everything um so that's the code and let's get into the baby clothes haul i'm so excited this is like more doing and let's get into the baby clothes haul. I'm so excited to like, it is so fun shopping for baby boy. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna wear this, it's super comfy, but I um, have the AC like blasting cause it's like 85 outside. So I just need a little sweatshirt. Okay, so we have so many packages coming in right now for baby boy, it's crazy. Some of this stuff was on, I got a package from Kite Baby that I ordered so much kite baby because i feel like that was like the only suggestion that everyone gave for onesies because of the zipper anyways um and then i've been searching on on amazon for like other things to wear too and i found this little guy which is so cute the other night it's just like a ribbed onesie um with open feet open hands so i'd have to do mittens but a little just like button up. It reminded me of like Hunter and how he wears his little Henleys. So I was like, oh, this is really cute. It's gonna match me. It's gonna match Hunter. And um, just in solid white. And I think it was really affordable. Like, but I just wanted to order one first to see kind of how it felt and how it went. Um, it's a little straight there. I just need to cut off. Very pleased with this little find on Amazon. And it comes in like probably 50 different colors. So. I will definitely order more, but I got a newborn size. And that's the thing is that I don't know how big he's gonna be, so you have to order like a lot of different sizes of things and whatever. So, really cute. Kite Baby up next. And I ordered a bunch of H&M stuff, but it hasn't come yet. All right, so Kite Baby, if you're not familiar, um, this is not sponsored by the way, I purchased all this myself, but the owner of the company's baby had eczema, so she couldn't find like fabrics that wouldn't irritate their skin. So everything's made out of this like really soft bamboo fabric and the onesies are like $30 each, but um, according to 
some lists that people sent me for like all of their newborn essentials everyone said on there for like that you basically need like six to eight onesies for like the newborn phase for the zero to three month phase and for the three to six month phase so i was like okay i just need to have i didn't get like a ton of um sleeping onesies at my shower or anything so i was like i need to get pajamas and make sure i have some so what i went ahead and did was got two preemie actually size onesies because my sister said that um the newborn onesies were too big for her baby at first which i don't guarantee i don't know what size our baby is going to be i have no idea but i wanted to have two little preemie sizes just in case so i got um, a little gray one and then a little like brown chocolate color which is really cute but just in the case i was like okay he might grow out of these in literally like, the first <laughs> week or two but if as long as i have two that really fit him for like the first week of his life i think i'll feel fine about that i don't know i just wanted to have them so two preemie sizes and then i was like i'll just save them and give them to a friend if he's bigger and it doesn't fit so then oh wait no i got three preemie sorry white brown and gray so we've got three preemie onesies and the best thing about them is that they don't have any buttons or anything because people are like you do not want to mess with that so they just zip right up um they have little feet and then they have fold overs for their hands so covers <coughs> all the bases and they're literally like buttery soft then i got five colors in the newborn size so i got a blue color which i thought was really cute this light gray or this is like light blue gray really cute try to get like boy colors this one is sort of like an oat color neutrals because duh i got a little green one because hunter loves green so this one's like a little sea foam and then this is just like a nice cloudy gray color um, and these are all in the newborn size so that should hook me up. I think I have one more newborn in white that someone gifted me upstairs. So that gives me six newborn onesies for pajamas. Um, so that's hopefully like a week's worth. And then I can wash them if there's like blowouts or whatever. Um, people are like, you just need to have six to eight on hand. So I just thought these were going to be the best. I hadn't found any other alternatives. All the other ones that I've looked at are like have buttons or... I just haven't found zip and I'm like I just don't know how I want to set myself up for success and the zippers look really easy so I was like let's just we'll get them up front and we can save them for our next baby I will save all of this because um, these are yeah a little bit of I guess an investment but I think going to be worth it and then I have um I think two zero to three month ones but i was like we're gonna start with those and then i can order more if like depending on his size and how fast he's growing but i think that will get me covered for like at least the first month of his life and i can figure it out after that the other things that i got were two burp cloths um and i know that like you can just use muslins and stuff which i have plenty of but i wanted to i, I want to get like a couple of different varieties to see which ones I tend to gravitate towards better and which ones I like better and I had heard really amazing things about these so I was like I know it's kind of a bougie burp cloth but I was like I'm gonna treat myself to nice burp cloths just to see um, and I have tons of muslin ones from like Amazon and stuff um, and then the last two things I got were these sleep sacks um, let's see oh these are sleep bags i guess they call them and these are also from kite baby super soft i got them in size extra small and they're like a 1.0 weight um again i have like a lot of different i ordered like a swaddle pack from baby list which like has four different kinds of swaddles um but i wanted to i think you put them in a swaddle and then in the sleep sack i'm pretty sure um and i didn't have i don't have any of these so i just figured i'd order two see how it goes at first with this size i mean this looks like pretty good um i got a white one as well also zip in the classic kite baby material so um i just figured i'd start with two and see how it goes i don't really know but what i'm doing but <laughs> i got two of those and then last thing i got was a car seat cover because i saw this on there 
and again the fabric is just so soft um and this is for when like you take them around in the car seat you need to cover it so they can sleep and actually the more that i've been out and about um because i saw this uh, people said to put this on your registry um when I'm like in the doctor's office and stuff or out at restaurants, I see moms and everyone has their car seat with a cloth over it. So I was like, okay, I need to get one of those and figured I would just get, you know, one kind of good sturdy one. I could get some more with like patterns and stuff, but this should suffice. And it's just kind of like a gray fabric. So that should work for that. And that is everything I got from Kite Baby. So um, yeah, kind of like just the basics, right now this is not too much like fun clothes but a lot of people just say go for the basics at first like just onesies plain stuff and then you can i mean i have like a couple of fun outfits that i've ordered for like to take pictures in and stuff but i'm not trying to like order him a ton of like stylish clothes when he's really small because i know he's gonna grow out of them really fast so i'm just trying to cover like pajamas basic things leggings onesies things that he can wear every day right now so that's what I'm working on. Anyway, so I'll link that down below. But yeah, so that's the baby haul. I'll continue to show as more stuff comes in. We are like getting tons of stuff for the nursery and I think we're gonna just do like a full nursery video um, because we've pretty much ordered all the rest of the stuff that we need. There's just so many like packages arriving and when we'll do like a full setup, the crib actually just arrived, it's back there. Um, and we'll show how we're organizing it and do like a full in-depth video for that. So stay tuned. Oh my God, I need to put on deodorant. Yeah, you do. They can smell it. We woke up and we walked down and got some coffee in That's our right. neighborhood. Yes. And then we went to the gym. It was a really great workout. And then we went to Envision, which we went in another vlog, but we didn't vlog it. We went home to core shopping basically. Yeah, got a new coffee table. Yeah, bar stools. Bar stools. So many things. So, so let's go unload. We got, we got it all in the car. We got to unload. I'm gonna have to have another guy come help me unload the coffee table. Yeah, I can't. Is it? Pre it's pretty heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Marshals are so cute, you guys. First things first. Look at this beautiful piece of art we got for Baby H's room. And this one. Look Little at this. globe beanbag. Isn't that perfect? It's little Earth. It's so cute, and it ties in all our colors in the nursery. And his name isn't Saddle, by the way. No, but. You guys will see. Oh, yeah. it's so good. Love it. It's so cute. Okay, here's the bar stools. Oh my God, they're so pretty. They are like a cream beige boucle top and a wood bottom. We really wanted to get bar stools with backs on them, but I just think based on the dining you predicament, <laughs> we had to do, exactly, and I think it's perfect. Love and it. just against all of the textures in the kitchen, it, the sleek, like it looks it so good. It really warms it up. We gotta clear the clutter out of this place, yes, but that is looking gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, Booker. What do you think of them? You love them? We gotta get one more. They had to, only had three, so they're ordering us one more. It comes in a week. But they're perfect! Oh my god. Love it. Love it. Finally! We have bar stools. Oh my gosh. Somewhere to sit. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. Right. Woo! So here is our Gorgita table. Our it new coffee like table. Marble. Fluting. Beautiful. It's so pretty, you guys. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Um, it is just heavier than a biatch. But we did get a couple things for the nursery. These little trucks I found. So cute. <laughs> Adorable. And we could even put these in the bathroom with like his yeah, bath stuff in it. Uh, definitely. Or next to the changing table with like, I don't know what you put in here, but. They're so cute. So cute. A cloud pillow, we have a star pillow, and then a mushroom. And a couple of little toys. We like the noises. How satisfying is that? So relaxing. You love it. These are not for you. <laughs> They're not. Booker keeps, he cannot stay out of the nursery. He loves, everything so fuzzy. And he brings down a new object from the nursery every day. I'm so excited. Love it. Anyways, um, so these are our sponges that we use. This is super random, but these types of things around the house are kind of hard because there's certain areas that are just really hard to make look cute and aesthetic. 
and when I see someone do it well, I'm like, oh, that's awesome. So I just wanted to share this because I saw this and I had an idea. So here's our sponges. This one's sort of actually already used. Here's a new one. I got them on Amazon. But I like that they are neutral because they're cream and beige. Of course. Um, I think they're like eco-friendly sponges. Anyways, so when we were at the home decor store earlier, I saw this little mesh ceramic dish. Now you can use this for a lot of different stuff in a bathroom, for a soap bar. I think it's like a soap bar container, but I was like, that would actually, I hate when the sponge is just out on the counter because it just looks yucky in my opinion. So to have a little home, that just makes it make more sense. So got this little dish. I'm going to try and find it online. Link it in for you guys. So that's really cute. And then I was like, well, I also don't like leaving this soap out because I think it looks really bad. So I'm just gonna put it in like a regular soap dispenser. And that way, everything looks nice and aesthetic. I could honestly do a clear one, but I have this one, so I'm like, I'm just gonna do it for now. Might order like a cooler one on Amazon. Glass might look pretty. Or if I could find like a cool texture, but for now this will do. Even though this is for like hand soap, but you can put a dish soap in it too, like who cares. Okay, so put that there and that there. And that just looks so much nicer out than this junkety old thing. And then on the other side, we have our hand soap with our little plant. So, this yeah, is see really what cute. That little dish thing looks like on top of it. Yeah, it'll look way cuter. Oh, yeah, that looks better. And then, like, just one. Then you want to put the way over there. We need like maybe one um, one more little tray for these two, I think would be best, but that's pretty cute. I think that looks good. Yay, so much better. Okay, I have an idea for these chairs. Okay. You <gasps> mentioned that we should do a table upstairs. Yes, sir. Like, make it more like, like a, a conference, board, table. conference table. For sure. Like, not boardroom, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like working table. Yes, with those and chairs. The, the other, other two. two. All six of these and still use them here. Love it. Storage. I think that's perfect. They'll look good up there. Okay. Here she is. Hunter just got our sweet neighbor to help move the table in from the car because this baby is pet V. Beautiful. Wow, she's pretty. The fluting. Wow, she is gorgita and the perfect size. And I like that we have some variety of You want to center it? Yeah, we can center Don't hurt yourself. I know. Here is the pulling harder. Oh, perp oh my god, it's proportionately better. so much better. You can still it opens up the room more. Oh, oh she's so pretty. See oh, that sorry. that also what I was thinking though, it makes me want to do like more of this setup. Yeah, I know. Because now you can. Where this is turned. Yeah. And the couch is there. I know. Because like I was afraid before because the, the, the door. Oh. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Sorry, those were our neighbors. They're so cute. They're like, um, it's actually like exactly our age. And they brought us cookies when we first moved in. And they're so sweet. And we've been meaning to hang out. So um, he just came over and helped switch out the tables. And we were like, if you guys want that table, you can totally have it. So I'm so happy they were really excited about it. And it's a really nice piece. So we've had that table since. Gosh, do we have it in California? Maybe Texas, but we've had it for years. So it's been really good to us. We've had it in so many different spaces, but I'm happy that it will be utilized in their house and their house is super cute. So anyways, okay, we're gonna continue to style this. I'm waiting for Hunter to get back. He's just helping them move it over to their house. Is it these, are these two green? We do need a candle. The palette's working before. They're too green. See now everything is, is shifting cooler. Okay, that's better. I don't want a candle. Oh no, that's not, I know, that's not good. And I think the black plant will look better. So that's too light. The same color as the table. Let's pop more. Okay. That's looking good. All right, which ashtray? Beverly Hills Hotel Clear. Bar Hemingway Ritz, white and gold. Or a little pop of color, no smoking. Ame Leon door. That one's kind of cute, actually. I mean, we don't smoke, so it's not no, it's really. Just but it's um, 
we end up putting like the TV remote in it. Do you like the small little pop of color? It's kind of cute. Put it up there. Okay. Or do you want like a wood piece? And then we end up usually putting our laptops. Yeah, oh, throw that down. Right there. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. Wait, what are you doing with that? I'm just scooting to that. I, I'm making, love, I love that. I'm making room for your crystal. No, you, you don't like this? I love it. It makes yeah, it like okay. a little bit warmer. See how it I know off? that, but it's okay. It's more like studio esque, like a boutique. It's not pra it's necessarily practical. It's so practical. Cute. It's that, looks, that looks wonderful. I don't like that. You don't like the crystal? Okay, take it away. What else? Oh, where's our coasters? Which ones? The dark gray ones. They're up in that marble tray. Yeah. Perfect. Cute. You really don't like my blanket? No, I do like it. I just know I'm gonna probably trip on it and trample on it. You won't. And then when I wanna like sit there and put my laptop on it, I am just gonna wanna move it, I just think. But I really love the creativity and I think it's I mean it's so cool for like styling. I know it is. Yeah. It's, it's good vibes. It's very practical. Okay. For what? The table might like, be cold. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> the table might be cold, you guys. We gotta make sure it's warm. No, it just really softens. Cause it's made out of stone. <laughs> it's stone cold, bitch. I really think it like softens like how bright it is. I understand. Like I know. Practical? No. Right. But is any of this shit practical? Yeah, probably not. Are you gonna read these books? No. No. Definitely not. We might like this candle. I'll light the candle, I'll use the coasters, and I'll use that dish. We won't. The plant is practical because it gives you joy. Yes. Yeah. That is a really good idea. I'm gonna put, use the Le Labo pot to repot that plant, and it looks excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. How do our plants look? Our plants look so good. I'm really glad you pulled the trigger on. I know you used some shit. I don't think we're gonna leave that one there. No, but it needs some you know, sun. I did like it with that mirror it looked really good oh i know so we could put that whole setup even that plate back, back up, there. up there definitely and we did like it down in the corner by the stairs over there loved it but it said not to put, put it by a vent by the vent and the vents on the ground over there so we put those pots over there though and i think that's a good spot for that i gotta shake that rug out i'm really liking the vibe me too i'm not loving this lamp Oh, you are? I, I like the warmth it provides, like as a lamp. I want, I like, I like a lamp there. Yeah. I'm just not liking that one specifically. Okay. I want like a little bit more. I think that white one would look good. I kind of want like a double. I know. I think this couch is just a little wide for a double, but we could. could we, what you could do one right in between here. Well, you could do it slightly behind. Like yeah. In, yeah. And then have that little wooden bench. That would look good. Behind. Yeah. That runs into each one. For sure. But I'm. I'm liking it. I'm liking it too. You like this? I love it. I think it looks so good. We took the chairs up to the top floor for the table that we might get. Yeah. That'll be like a working table. That's but this is good. feeling so much more open. So much more open and we're just, oh, you guys, we were at the thing today and we saw an oval table that was the perfect dimensions and we also saw a circle table. And we just keep going back and forth. The oval could be really cool. Yeah. But it was travertine. And it might compete with the countertops and the marble. I agree. So, I think we need to reroute on material. Maybe the plaster or maybe the concrete. Or wood. Or wood. It's just nice to like even be standing here and have some room. I and know. if you do the oval with chairs, like it will feel pretty much all taken up. The oval, the only good thing about the oval is the width of it is thinner than what a circle would be. I know. It's just longer and takes up more space this way. The only way we would know is if we tried. I know. Some of y'all said not to even get a table at all and just use the bar stools, which we, like, but which we do like the openness of it, but it's still not like, it's not as cozy. No, you, need, you need a you table. Need a table. Yeah. Just practically wise, I mean, yeah, I think if you didn't need it, then this looks really good, but you need, you need a table. Mm -hmm. We need one for our lifestyle. What do you think, think? What do you think, think? I'm kind of feeling like we need to do a rug. Here? To make it cozy. What if we did a round rug with a round table and then the chairs? That's fine. It could be cute. Ugh, so tough. But I mean like the opening right here feels like a good opening. Yeah. And just have it kind of moved this way. Yeah. Leave this walkway here. And leave this space over here a little bit more open. I don't know. Just toying with it. But I mean just how good does this feel? Yeah, it feels really good. It's cozy. Cozy. Are you liking my plant on the I table? Love 
I feel like this plant goes so well with this mirror. I'm loving the combo of the two together. I love, I'm loving like ambient lighting versus like overhead. So I've been liking turning on all the lamps and then turning off the overhead lighting. It's like cozier. Mm -hmm. How do y'all feel about, we have the symmetry of the lamps. How would y'all feel about the symmetry of plants? Or is one good? And if one's good, should we go there or there? By the way, while my finger's up, it's done. Done so. <laughs> Ew, it's so disgusting. Trigger warning. Okay, so. looking good. I'm digging it. Yeah. We need to go do the rug downstairs because I need to get in the shower before. Okay. Are you coming down? Okay. Is coming down. Need a dog walker? I perfect. know. We just met the neighbors and they're all college students and they were literally the sweetest humans ever. There's one house of girls and then one house of guys and all of them were so nice. And they were like, if y'all need anything, help moving dog walking anything i was like we will hit you up so that's nice of me and they're gonna be here for summer right. okay so we're unload um unpacking the rug for the downstairs bedroom before the bed frame comes because that was literally torture doing that in our room so we're right. like let's get it done now before the bed frame comes the rug is actually the same one that we got as the runner in the kitchen it's just like a solid white one. I feel like it's like the best basic rug that we really got. Before we lay anything down, we'll have a picture of center. Where's your tape measure, Mr. Measure Man? Today, what's up, people? We are looking at Booker. That's your brother's paint samples for the nursery. That's your brother's. Booker is already grabbing <laughs> all the stuffed animals in the nursery. All right, he can't help himself. <laughs> um, well, we are in the nursery, yes, and we're waiting for everything to arrive. We've got um, some more furniture coming to Crip, just got here. And we got two paint samples. Well, actually, these are the same, the but same. I wanted them to do it on different walls. And Can you all even see that color? <laughs> it looks like white paint. It looks like the same. Can you see it yeah. against this? Oh, yeah. It's different? Yeah, oh, totally. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. When you're close up, it, it looks almost the same. It looks actually like pretty um, dark in person. We saw it in a building, like yeah. in a store, and we tracked down the color. It's called Drop Cloth by Pharaoh and Ball. Should we stick one on the wall? And it looks more like green gray on the wall, yeah. So these I think samples, one. these samples, um, they're stickers. Yeah, it's so funny how much darker it looks on when, like, compared to the wall. I think it looks great. See, like, honestly, it's a beautiful color. These tones. I mean, but then it looks lighter there. But then look yeah. it on the wall. It's perfect on the wall. I think it looks nice. We could do this I do whole too. room. I think. I think so too. Think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ceiling. Ceiling, you think? I think do you so. paint? Yeah. I don't like the look when it's like white ceiling. Room. Yeah. It looks like, really pretty next to this yeah. lamp. That's cute. This is like definitely the color. This palette. is the palette. So pretty. Actually, it's similar. It'll it'll match. Bring that in nicely. I don't know. I mean, I feel like we're gonna do it. <laughs> I don't know how we're tripping out, but. Oh, you can literally just peel it off. So these are really easy. I, I'll put the website. I ordered them from below. But I just Googled the paint color that we wanted and then and put peel and stick. And then you can just test it. It's such a beautiful color. Let me get these off. It's like a green tone gray. And I feel like this will be really cute after this bedroom is, if it turns into a guest room and we end up moving the baby's room downstairs or something or in a different house. Like, I feel like this is a beautiful neutral color. Cute. Yeah, look at this. That? It's like the same color family. It's almost like just really a little close. lighter it's shade. A little lighter. I think that's great. I love it. That'll look good. It's gonna look so good. It adds just a little color, and then oh. I just don't want you to feel like it's gray later on. I don't want you to be like, oh, it's too gray. I think it has enough green in it where it feels like that looks like. Yeah, I mean green gray, but I I, I mean the fact that I've seen it in another space makes me feel good. 
I'm gonna look up some nurseries and I'll see if they painted the trim. A lot of y'all recommend us getting blackout curtains for in here. Yes. We are we're working with our drape lady to get um, blackout like custom drapes. Yeah. But in the meantime, we also ordered blackout drapes because yes. Baby H will probably be here before the drapes are finished. So we're yeah. gonna hang some blackout curtains. We got some Amazon ones that we'll just hang right there. But I actually really like these curtains. I don't yeah. mind them. They are from Wayfair. I linked them, but um, they're really great curtains. They're just not blackout, so if you just get a little blackout behind them, do those are really pretty. More machine finish. Yeah. So we do eggshell for the walls, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't think we do just an accent wall. I think we just go do the whole room. Yeah, yeah I think so too. Me too. I think it'll feel really because nice. It's not. I feel like when you do an accent wall, accent wall is something that someone might want to change, but if you knock out the whole room in a color, yeah, it's keepable. Totally. Keep a bowl. And this is neutral enough, like it'll be really pretty. And are we gonna hang those glass things in here? I think so. I'm just We're gonna. gonna do them above. We could do either. I kind of like right here. I think so too. I, I love think it'll the look, look nice. Of having a, like a rug with a crib in the middle can be really cool, but okay. it's not practical. I know. The crib came in. We have to build it. That'll be nice. I'll do that today. You what time, time is it? Time? I have a. a I know at the we. Farm. We gotta get going. I got two hours. Okay. Well, um, all right. sign sealed delivered. I'm gonna order, place the paint order. So cute. By the way, we showed the saddle picture. When yeah. I said his name isn't Saddle. Oh yeah. Saddle's kind of a cool name. That is a cool name. Yeah. I love that. It's kind of like, it's pretty badass. But it'll kind of go in the same realm. Yeah. You'll see. It's kind of down that route. We've talked about that before. Um, so people were still name. guessing H names as the first name. Oh, they were. I think they saw um, in the last vlog we had this Hemingway picture yeah. on the dresser, and people were saying they thought it was Hemingway. Oh, okay. But we've always liked that name. We considered it. We did consider it. But it doesn't. We we didn't like it for a first name. It's like just too long. There's not any nicknames that can go with it. I know. So it is pretty though. Maybe we'll use it for a middle name. For a girl. It's cute. Yeah, maybe for a girl's name or for a middle name down the road. Hemingway Havens. Um, and yeah, our two clues were it doesn't start with an H and it's more kind of like in the outdoorsy, kind of western y category, kind of, kind of spiritual, earthy, spiritual. Earthy. That's all we're gonna give. Yeah, good crossover. A lot, a lot of, of people are guessing stone, it's not stone. Oh, but I love that. You know, it's funny, people are guessing stone. I, yeah. I have a old boss who named her son stone. Yeah, people are guessing rocky. My uncle and grandfather are named rocky. Yeah. People are guessing River. My cousin's name is River. River. People are guessing Clay. My brother's son's name is Clay. So yeah. it's kind of funny. Anyway, that's not the names. I'll tell you all of our names in our, our uh, baby name that we didn't use video. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Cute. Oh, I'm so excited. It's really gonna. It's gonna be nice. Oh, by the way, there's no rug in here because. Mama Jude ordered the wrong size. So we rolled it out in that video and then I was like, this looks small after a while. And I was like, well, I thought we couldn't fit a bigger one, but we remeasured and we could. So we mm -hmm. rolled it back up, we're returning it and we ordered the bigger size. It was the right size for this room if like it was a bedroom, like the bed was going in here. Yeah. But with it being a nursery, we wanted the majority of the floor to be covered with the soft rug, make it more cozy. Yeah. Oh, we saw it on TikTok. It's to lock it in. And you put it, through. And you tuck it down so you don't see it. Like that. Perfect. So that's how it is for sure? Yeah. I watched the nursery course and I saw some people do that. Makes sense. I feel it. I get it. Appreciate that tip. Thank you. We got it. Ain't gonna smell like shit in here. <laughs> no, it's not. Alright, All right, folks. Our big olive tree. That was over there in that big pot and it's not getting enough light so I have it on the front porch right now and I'm trying to move this pot to right here we're gonna try it out it might be too big for that space we don't use that door we only use that door so we can like block a little bit of it I'm trying to figure it out but this pot is like 400 pounds so I have it on this moving blanket and I'm just dragging it Can't grip, grip, no grip with my socks. <laughs> it, it definitely get more light right here. Yeah, I think it's good. Got it. Yeah. Okay. 
be cute. <sighs> and now to put it back in. Now we're gonna put the bonsai tree. <laughs> in there. Just like this. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> we got this broom set from Amazon because we need a new broom and it's kind of amazing. We were just saying. It's from like a Japanese um I got some store. soil for citrus for our lemon tree. All right, here's where we brought four of the chairs up. We're gonna go get the other two at the cabin. They're in the pod. And we're gonna do a circle table in here for a working space. Sorry about it, breath. I just ran up the stairs. Here's the lemon tree. I'm gonna repot it out on the porch. Let it get some sun. Have it right here for now. Just repotted it. And I need a little bit more topsoil. And then I'm gonna water it. Crib has arrived. Crib is here. All right, let's play some cribbage. Look at that and maybe are gonna twin. <laughs> I realize everything I've been ordering lately like ad I got. is green. It's just my color. It's your color. That's why I ordered this for the baby because I thought that dad would like it. And it's from H&M. It's like a little linen bucket hat and I got a little linen outfit. I know everyone's like, don't buy too many clothes for a newborn because they grow so fast, but I wanted like just a like a couple of outfits. It's like, our firstborn. Let's have some fun. I know. I just wanted to be able to dress him up for like a minute, just for you know a dinner or something. But I'm not buying too much. So we were just saying how weird it is that we are building this right now. It doesn't feel like there's about to be a human in our house, but there is. And we were just saying like, I don't think it's hit either of us. Well, it hits at different stages. Like, yeah. Like, you know when you get like a puppy? Yeah. You get the puppy and then you kind of go get like all the stuff you need for it. Yeah. Right now when you have a baby, you get all the stuff first. I and, know. And it's and like then, you do all those things and it's, you just kind of like, it's almost like you're building things and like getting a for an imaginary stuff for, person. yeah, from nothing yeah. that exists yet. So. Totally. Even though it does exist, just not. It does exist, just not. Here in. He's in the jacuzzi right now. Yeah, he's chilling in the hot tub. <laughs> and we have a crib. We have a crib. <laughs> it's cute. It's good. It's so good. Hey, what do you think? It's gonna be a human in there. Can you believe it? Don't hurt that. So I good. know. It looks good. The paint too. Awesome. Oh, it's going down tonight.